Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is your instructor, engineer Mia Ibad, and I hope you people are doing really good. Alright, so uh, in this lab, our topic is basically uh, to learn and develop in a website in uh, WordPress. I hope that uh, many of you uh, should know about the WordPress. It is basically, uh, WordPress is basically a uh, free and open source CMS. CMS is basically a content management system. Uh, it is written in PHP and it can be paired with uh, databases. Uh, basically when WordPress was uh, firstly created, so it was basically a, <coughs> a blog publishing system but now it has uh, got much uh, fame and it is now covering many forums like uh, learning management systems and media galleries membership sites and uh, most uh, the, the best of all online stores all right so <clears throat> the beauty i must say or the good point of wordpress is that it does not require um, uh, like the uh, proper coding or uh, I, I must say like you do not need to worry about the back end and the coding and other stuff the only thing you do here is just like sort of a, you do a drag drop, drop system here and uh, you just design and make a structure of a website so it is like sort of a very easy tool to develop a, uh, uh, a a proper website the cons or the uh, bad points about WordPress is it is that it is not much uh, customizable like for example if you uh, import a theme in WordPress so you cannot do much uh, customization in that like customization in sense of like if you want to change the backend code so that would be a really big challenge or in some cases it is not even possible so that is the uh, the con of um, WordPress but looking at the pros of WordPress, the, the ease of use and uh, the, uh, uh, the ease of use in designing and ease of use in making a structure of websites. So many, many, many websites around the world uses WordPress for web development. So in today's lab, I'll be, uh, it is basically, uh, th this lab is uh, sort of a very, uh, not very, but it is a little bit lengthy lab than previous labs because I have to make a proper uh, website from scratch and it will be, it will be basically an uh, e-commerce website. So um, I'm, uh, I hope that many of your, uh, it should be like all of you should have used uh, e-commerce websites like it's like um, you can see the bars aliexpress and many stores uh, for example if you take a brand like for example Junaid Jamshed J dot so just go to their website and uh, you can shop online so basically these are e-commerce websites so what we'll be doing in today's lab we have to uh, first uh, get a theme uh, from uh, get theme to design our website and we will be using some plugins to uh, get the functionality of e-commerce in it and some other plugins and then develop and design the site from uh, scratch all right so first of all uh, the first step is in any website is to get the domain name or hosting so for this lab purpose, I have just used a simple uh, Bitnami uh, WordPress. Bitnami, it's it's a free uh, software in which you can uh, you can download it and then install WordPress through it. So basically, that WordPress will be uh, uh, it will be uh, run on your computer using your local host. But I would advise that it would be uh, really great that if you design uh, this labs task. So you should get a, a proper um, a web domain, a domain name and hosting. So basically um, uh, there are some websites that offer free domain names and free hostings. They are, they are a little bit slow and there are some um, restrictions in that, but still you can use WordPress on that. So that, that would be great. So when you will be implementing the same website or uh, when I give you the assessment and you complete that, so I would be glad if you get a free domain name and hosting and then implement your website on that. So it will be basically live. It, everyone, <coughs> everyone around the world can see your website. 
all right but uh, for today's lab i'll be using uh, an offline system uh, basically when you use an offline system and then you install wordpress in that and then you when, when you develop uh, a website in that so then you can uh, export it uh, to a proper online web hosting anyways so uh, if you are um, if you are going towards the online hosting so then uh, you should uh, watch a, a simple two three minutes uh, youtube video how to get the hosting how to get the domain name and then how to s install wordpress in that in your uh, domain so uh, basically there is a system called cpanel so when you get a, a domain name and hosting you get access to your cpanel cpanel is, is it's basically a control panel for your website so then you log into your cpanel and then in that cpanel you install wordpress through uh, that system but if you want to use this uh, offline system which i would not recommend but still if uh, in a worst case scenario you use it so what you have to do you should download this uh, bitnami just go to google uh, and type bitnami and in bitnami or or uh, type bitnami wordpress then there uh, in there you should download the bitnami wordpress then install it it will ask you because i've already installed it so i cannot show you again it will ask you about your um, uh, username and password so just give a simple username and password to it as i have given admin as a username and password is admin123 so once that is installed then you should open a browser any browser and you should write wordpress slash uh, sorry local host slash wordpress once it gets loaded so this is a uh, an unbuilt website basically it is uh, by default so this is my website uh, this this is the name of the website it will be asking you when you install the wordpress uh, bitnami wordpress so i give, i've given it a dummy name uh, of shopee so this uh, website would basically uh, be an e-commerce website in which you can uh, sell basically you can sell uh, different products so i'll be uh, going towards uh, men and women attires and ebooks and other other stuff and then if we get time all right so localhost slash uh, WordPress you will get to the um, the website now if I want to log in into my WordPress account in order to build my website then I would simply write log in okay so it would ask me about my uh, username and uh, password so let's give it admin and admin one two three okay so this is my username and password you should give your own username and, password. and I should log in all right so this is the dashboard of uh, WordPress everything every setting every plugin every theme every page every post everything is managed from all of these op options for example these are you can add new posts here you can uh, see all posts here you can delete posts from here you can add images and videos and other media uh, uh, other media to this um, uh, library then you can add different pages you can uh, uh, change the themes, the customization, widgets, menus, backgrounds, and everything. Then you can add different plugins. Ba basically, what are plugins? Plugins are um, sort of some uh, uh, s you you can say a software that that calls or an API sort of that that does a work, a complex work by just uh giving your information in that so for example let's say if i if i download a contact form so what would it do if you go to the contact uh page in a website so there you can see a proper form so if i download the contact form so ev everything is done automatically you just have to enter your email address to which you want to receive the uh contact information from the users so you do not need to code anything just use the plugin then you can uh, add you other users to your website for example if there are two or three designers or through two or three developers so you can add them you can change passwords etc from here then you have tools and settings and so on all right so starting with uh, settings I would first go to uh, general settings uh, 
Okay, so this is your site name. That is, I have given it uh, Shopee. This this is a tagline. Uh, it's, it's given by uh, the WordPress. Uh, by, it is a default tagline. You can change it to anything. Like for example, uh, by quality. Let's say I give it a name by quality. All right. So this is my administration email address uh, and other things you can play around with. You can save changes, and then I'll go to permalinks. Okay, so basically what are permalinks? For example, uh, let's say if I uh, go to the home page of my website. So what would be, let, this is my domain name in this case because I'm running it on localhost. It can be anything, for example, facebook.com. So if it is your website, let's say, um, let's say daraz.com or daraz.pk. So how do you want to add the name of the page after the uh, slash it is a basically a permalink so I would simply use the uh, the post name so when I go to like the home page so it would be like uh, let's say uh, something.com slash home if I go to contact us page it would be like something.com or dot pk slash uh, contact so it would not be something like this uh, like uh, this much complex like date and name and month and so on so that we have changed the permalink i would, I would advise you to please um, do all the uh, practical work along me because uh, then you'll be, uh, you will be a little bit confused so try to uh, get along me all right so save changes now i would go to pages Right. so it does not have any pages it, it just have a default two pages so first of all what I would do is uh, I would go to themes and the first step should be to install a theme for your let's say I open it in the next tab localhost slash wordpress so you can see that this is my default theme now if I want to change the theme so I would I have a basically it's a paid theme but I have uh, re, uh, got it from somewhere and basically there is a, a web developer or a web designer um, uh, sorry I forgot his name but he, he uh, give de different demos of websites and also uploads uh, such themes for a learning purpose basically so that's why I have downloaded his theme and I, have, I should upload it over here so I will go to choose file and go to the website and this is my theme name shop uh, th theme themeify uh, shopee so i would install the theme it would take a while <clears throat> i hope it's recording yeah it is all right so once the theme is installed then we will uh, proceed further let's pause it until the theme gets installed all right so uh, in the meanwhile the theme is getting installed I must say that uh, during the this website development there will be many errors from my side because it is uh, sort of a, uh, I must say a test or and trial or there are many issues uh, while you develop a website uh, some from user and like the developer end, and some from the server end so sometimes there would be problems so I, I beg uh, pardon for that so I have to uh, just uh, cope with that so sometimes I'll pause the video and other stuff alright so let's it's installed and I would activate it alright so it has been activated that's great so it says that get a demo of your uh, new theme I do not need that for, in, for instance all right so now if I come to this uh, my, my website my basic website so now if I refresh it it would get changed according to the newer theme that I have installed see everything has changed because of installing the uh, a new theme all right now I would include some plugins so in order to just get started so I have all of these plugins I don't think so I would need any of them so I would uh, click all and delete all apply 
I would only add the plugins that I, I'm, I need. All right. So. You can uh, use any uh, plugin uh, according to your website, whatever are your needs. So, okay, this was needed, but I'll get back. Anyways, now I would add two, three plugins that I need. The first plugin is a very, uh, very good to use plugin for e-commerce. It is one of the most popular. That is known as WooCommerce. Okay, so this is the plugin. This is the plugin. You can see it has like sort of, it has five plus uh, five million plus active installations. So I would install this. It is the main um, plugin used for e-commerce. Like this theme is just to design your website, and this WooCommerce plugin uh, enables you to make a shop uh, in your um, website, and you can. Uh, shop from there all right so let it get installed okay in the meanwhile the um, plugin is being installed it's very slow because of the local host let me show you some of the previously uh, built website that i've <coughs> built for uh, different customers or clients uh, actually when I was in bachelors so in that time I started freelancing and I had made some uh, websites so these are some of the websites uh, this was for uh, an entertainment and technology lawyer his uh, this is his name and uh, so this was the website uh, you can see that uh, this is the header these are different pages this is the main uh, image of the website so you have to uh, design a website according to a user's need. So, uh, like uh, as far as I remember, this um, uh, this man told me that he needs a simple but a decent website. So I did not add many things in there. So let's see. Like for example, these are different services offered by him. This is the person. Uh, this is his social links and stuff like that. Okay. Now if I go to about Eric so this should be a very simple web uh, simple web page now practice areas it has a little bit of theme yeah so this, these are his practice areas uh theater and performing arts film and television music and publishing new media and intellectual property all right so these are the blogs this is a blog page So these are his different blogs he has used and this is the contact us page so see uh, th th these, this um, contact form is basically developed using contact form 7 plugin all right this is another website top stone solicitors it is sort of a professional website so this is how it looked like Anyways, uh, th this was a, a website I developed for uh, Masjid in uh, Bolton, UK. So uh, basically in um, these countries, uh, Masjid is a place where there are uh, all of the societal activities. So they have to uh, uh, make such websites to get uh, people to know what would be upcoming events. So these are prayer timings. This is a live broadcast from uh, using uh, an FM. So this is also developed using WordPress. These are different services, marriage services, library services, madrasa. Like for example, if I click on uh, madrasa service, so this is a video portal. So, all right. Anyways, this was these were just uh, to let's see what this is. 
Okay, so they also uh, sell different things using their mosques website. So they also do e-commerce using their website. So this was just an uh, example website that I wanted to show. All right, let's get back. And it has been, oh, there is an error. Let me check. All right, so this there was a, an issue in uh, uh, installing this WooCommerce uh, plugin. For that, what I did, I went to add new, and then I uploaded the WooCommerce um, from somewhere. I, I downloaded it from somewhere, and then I uploaded it over here. So then you choose file, and I'll upload the Themeify uh, theme as well as the WooCommerce uh, plugin. Uh, to the classroom so you can download it from there and then install it using upload plugin in the meanwhile when i was doing this i also installed this contact form 7 so you should also install this it is like go to add new and write contact form 7 okay so this one this also has about five medium plus downloads so you should install that all right, now we are done with our uh, plugins. Okay, uh, uh, after installing, you should also activate. So just click it and it will get activated. So it is activated and it is activated. All right, now let's refresh it. All right, here is a problem, here is a problem. okay so it was a tough debug sort of like two hours debug uh, there was a problem in uh, activating this woocommerce uh, plugin so what i did i uh, th there was a localhost problem that, that's why i installed some other version of the woocommerce and then uh, luckily it got installed all right so now we have the contact form 7 and the WooCommerce over here. First of all, what we would do is we would go to pages and we would add new pages. So slow. All right, let's delete these pages. First of all, action to trash. Oh, sorry. Right now we would add some pages first of all let's add a home page then we will be needing a okay, thank you home page publish publish so you see uh, what we change in the permalinks now uh, we can see slash home over here if it was the default one so it would have been some weird numbers or alphabets over here all right okay now let's add another one my name You can add several pages, but I would just add three to three to four pages. Contact us. You just contact page. Publish. All right. Page. Now you can see we have home about us and contact pages over here. Pages are empty. 
now what we would do is first of all we would go to the home page and we would go to edit page Right, uh, in the home page you should come down to the custom uh, Themeify custom panel and change the appearance like for example if I uh, open the website in a new tab so it would go to let's go to the home page so you can see that we have a sidebar on the right side over here what we would do we would change the sidebar or orientation and we would select no sidebar and the content content width of the page should be a full width page so these sides would not be empty it would be a full width page now let's hide the page title this home and custom menu no content page appearance header portrait query query post okay we are good to go now let's update it and then preview our page great so we have a full width with no sidebar page now first of all what you would do you would open the builder and we would select this and we want a full row with image over here uh, or let's say I put a slider over here so this is a slider now make it full width row and height is default Let's go to columns so that's all we made okay now let's come to the slider first of all i would drop an image over here so first of all I would select files i would go to desktop website i have all the images over here so i would select all of the images and Now once they are uploaded then we'll select the slider images that we'll be using over here. Until then let's pause it. Alright, so the images that I will be needing for the slider would be starting from here. And okay. Only accept one image. So insert file. Then add new. Insert this one. Add new. And insert this one. So one, two, three. I guess they could, these will be enough. Okay. All right. No. Okay, now, okay, so you can see that uh, when you directly um, just drop a slider in there, so there is uh, this uh, uh, 
pixels issue with the image so what we would do we would come back and we would delete that previous uh, module what we would do we would just come here and basically this is a complete row and it has different columns so we would come to the options of the row and we would go to styling then in styling we would again go to styling and what i'm intending to do is i would add a slider over here that would have like three to four pictures and on every picture there will be only one text as a caption so i would like that the caption would not change so for that i have to put the images or the slider in the background for that i have to click background and i will I would, you can add an image or a gradient or a video uh, if you want to add a video so just put um, uh, the URL of the video over here so I would go to slider and I would go to insert gallery and let's add the images this this and this I hope that's enough so add to gallery update image full cover and slider speed should be normal that's all right okay so now you can see that we have this in the background the images of the slider in the background now what's the issue we do not have padding in the background so for that I will have to add some padding so let's say uh, to the percentage and I'll add like uh, five percent maybe okay maybe a 10% percent will work then a bottom padding of 10% right great now I'll get done okay so still the image is not completely full that is because uh, I did it by uh, my own intention because uh, I have to add some other t uh, modules over here the text and button module so when I add the text and button module so this padding would increase automatically uh, because of the padding and the uh, structure of the button and text so first of all I would add a simple text text module let's say I write uh, here let's say everything you shop anything you can write anything okay now let's change this to header one done okay now you can see that first of all it's in black color so it's uh, a little bit uh, it's, it's not quite visible uh, on the background so I have to change it to white color and secondly I should add a little bit of padding to the left side so for that uh, let's go to style and come to font let's change the font size font color All right so let's make it white completely sorry and that's great now I would go to the padding and I would add left padding over here of like two that's great click on done okay I have it here now let's add some uh, other text with it uh, so for that I have an option of uh, duplication I've copied it and let's paste it over here or you can make a new one if you want Sorry. Copy. okay you'll make a new one here's some issue so text module sorry text module and I would try it
and shop. Make it heading to sliding. Give it some padding to the left. and make it white. All right. Now I would like to add a button over here. So add new element. A button, button, button. Here it is. Let's add it below it. And let's say I make it a small, a small button. Let's make it default. Uh, this, this would be okay. Background should be solid. Line choice and left. And button should be, let's say, shop. Right. Now give a link to the but button. Let's say, uh, what is the link? Let's copy paste it over here. shop page let's make it black and go to styling font let's make the padding let's give it two done all right so now i would like to make some changes in the column orientation so let's say I make it uh, like this so it is uh, now contained in this side or maybe I can even uh, make it smaller now you can see now let's save it and go to the next page and let's refresh it right so that's great uh, we have this uh, back background slider upon which we have this uh, text and our button on one side all right okay so <clears throat> Now, uh, what we would do, we would go to a dashboard, and now we will we will um, add some of some products in our e-commerce uh, for for our e-commerce in this WooCommerce uh, plugin. So I'll go to product, and I'll all product. I'll go to all products. So there are no products. So let's create the first product. All right. So let's say uh, the first part I am adding is uh, let's say a purple women dress. So purple dress. Then come here and okay. You you can use these demos if you want to. <clears throat> okay. Now I'll. Uh, go to the product image and set a product image for this dress that users will be able to see files and this is it there so I would use this one and let's make a new category for this so let's make it one <clears throat> and let's make a new category 
Okay, so in some websites you see that when you uh, go for shopping, so there are, let's say I go to website, uh, let's say I go to Nike. So let's open it. <clears throat> so here you see that the, these are the, the, this is the main, I know. Okay, let's open anything. In Canada, all right. So <clears throat> you see that this is your main uh, nav bar. In nav bar, you have different categories of like men, women, uh, kids, etc. So once you go to men, then there are these different sub categories. So for that, let's say clothing and shoes and gym, gym training and other stuff like that. Okay. So what I would do, I would simply uh, add a woman and then I would add another category. Let's say dresses. Let's say I have a category dresses. Now this dress should be a child category of this parent woman category. So I would use woman and then add new category. All right. So this has been added. Now you can also give some tags like let's say uh, purple uh, party dress. I don't know whatever it is. Okay. So that you can give multiple. Uh, tags now if you want to add other images of the same dress like in other orientations you can add product gallery images I'll just show it to you in a while okay so now <clears throat> let's give it a price let's say uh, okay we will we will manage these uh, currency prices later on in this video okay so let's say its price is uh, let's say 5000 rupees I'll, I'll just change that and it's on sale for let's say 4000 all right okay so it is a simple uh, product you can also uh, okay i'll show it to you in a while okay if, you, if, if it is let's say a uh, a movie or a book something that can be downloadable or that is virtual so you have to click these options all right so go to inventory you can also give a code to this image let's say uh, DRS one two three something like that for every uh, product, uh, if, and if it is in s enable man manage stock, if you click that, so you you can give the quantity that you have. So let's say we have a uh, hundred dresses like these. So what are back orders like? For example, if uh, the, uh, the quantity the stock is zero so still the uh, customers can order but we will do not allow it for the while All right now let's go to shipping so let's give it a weight of let's say one kg All right, and give it some dimensions of uh, it's not that much used in Pakistan but in other countries it is much used so let's say it is uh, most probably in okay so let's say it's 30 by 30 by 10 and no shipping class all right then links okay so what are linked products linked products are basically when you should have seen that if you um, uh, add some product some uh, dress some shoes anything to your cart so when uh, you go to the cart so there are some other products as well that you can see uh, down below that is like uh, you uh, it is written that you may also be interested in to buy these products the, the, so that is related to this product that you have uh, that you are buying for example let's say if it's a purple dress so you would like to uh, get some shoes with it or let's say a necklace or something like that so you can add it over here attributes customer attributes okay we don't need it at the while you can add purchase notes and other stuff like that all right so I guess we are good enough one other thing uh, is this is the description of this dress so let's get some lorem epsom for it lorem epsom is basically a, uh, it's used for text so it, it can be anything let's say let's say this is my lorem epsom okay copy and paste and do it once again Paste. all right so and this is the 
short product information let's say for example for example i go to men and i'll choose i hope it's in here let's say they are these are nike Air max when i click it so this is the short description of this uh, these shoes so this is spin This is a short description and you can also add a, uh, a detailed description over there. So that was a detailed description and now I can also add a short description. Let's make it short. All right. Now let's publish it. Once published, we can view this product. sometimes okay so it has been published now we can view the product all right so this is our product the image this is the price having a sale price that has been cut and this is the stocks can add it to the card these are the tags categories and other things all right now okay this is the um, long description if you want to add any additional information like for example this and reviews and other things all right so let's go let's add a new product or let's say I go to all the products and let's there is a little bit spacing over here that is because of the left side right sidebar I have to remove that mm, products let's open this one now I come to the here all right and I would remove the sidebar okay okay let's save it date let's view the product okay so that sidebar has been removed so now it's a complete page it is looking great okay now let's get to another example for example that is new we would add some men dressing in there but it would have like uh, different sizes and different prices and uh, uh, different colors in it so it would be not a static or a simple product it would be a variable product let's say uh, I add uh, men jumpers Okay, I would make a new category first men new category then I would add the jumpers let's see and the parent category should be men and new category all right let's say the product tag is a jumper and let's set a product image let's say this gray one looks cool i would also add others like this and uh, this okay one thing that you should uh, be very much uh, keen about in this uh, in de designing a website is you have to take care of the uh, pixels of an image so every uh, image in a product category should be the same size so it looks uniform when and it looks very professional when one sees it okay so uh, this is the product gallery now let's make it a variable product so what is a variable product let's see you can add the manage stock thing in there I will just skip it over here let's say it is you can also do it afterwards and products attributes okay these are the attributes let's see my first attribute is uh, size so I would add small then I would use it a pipe sign pipe 
medium pipe L and you can also make some others so pipe is basically the uh, when you hold shift and then you uh, hit this button so save attribute okay now let's add another attribute of uh, let's say color and let's say the colors are gray and uh, purple and green So we're good to go. Now let's put variations. Okay, sorry. Use for variation and use for variation. Okay. Now, now let's add prices and everything for create variation. All right, so nine variations has been added. Now, let's say the gray jumper of small size uh, has a price of let's say uh, 2000 and let's say it's not on sale, it's in stock. You can give different variations, shipping class, description, and other things okay let's say this one is okay you, you should also add an image so when one selects the uh, color and the size so this word show up okay so small gray then let's say small purple is for let's say 2200 and uh, Purple. Then small green for let's say it is for 2100 and let's go for a green jumper. Let's say the medium one is it's a gray, so it's the same price as the small one. And the image is gray. Let's do her it for everyone. Medium. If changes okay all right so it has been saved now I forgot to give the category the details again I'll to come here and add some detail now we are i suppose good to go so let's publish now let's so it's saved you can give the product all right view the product okay we can let's make it full size We can also do this full size thing from the theme options. I'll just show you. Let's 
okay so now we have a variable uh, product which has prices from 2000 to 2200 so any currency now if I let's say choose an option of small and then an option of gray so this one would be selected in a price of 2000 let's say I select the purple one so you see the images has been changed and it has been changed to 2200 and so on so this is a small description this is the bigger one like the complete description you can add additional information and other stuff let's say I change it to green so it will be 2100 change it to large so this is how it is done right that great that's great now let's say I want to add a downloadable or a virtual product for that let's say I had something over here of uh, site images okay it's a Vietnam travel guide okay so let's come here and let's name it Vietnam Travel Guide. So this and this. Okay. So now I'll add a new category and ebooks. So I hope it's all right. So there are no other parent categories for it. Now let's choose a tag for it. Let's say travel, travel guides. Right now, add a product image of. Uh, yeah, a few things to do in Vietnam. And you can also have gallery. Now if I come here, so it would be a, a downloadable. Right? It's a downloadable file. Let's say its price is uh, 500 and sale price is let's say 250. And I should add the file that has once the user pays for it so it will be able to download. So a PDF file and then download limit and other things inventory you can play around with these attributes and other stuff okay so now yes we're good to go let's publish it let's view the product Now you can see that this is a uh, an ebook. So once you add it to the cart, it will go to the cart, and then once you pay for it, then it will get downloaded. All right. So I guess these are enough of the products for our uh, page, for our not page but website. Okay. Okay. So now let's move forward and. Add a new row. This would be okay. Let's change the uh, column orientation to let's say three. I would be basically. Uh, I'm looking. Okay, it's, it should be enough. I am looking to forward to add uh, uh, products here, like three to four products that are new arrivals so first of all i had to let's change the column orientation to this okay now i would add a text module text i would write and drop i would write a new west collection okay let's make it h2 and styling and uh, adding all right font to the 
center and done. Okay, so I would be needing some padding in here. Styling, say. Padding two. All right. Yeah, looks good. So now let's add a new category of like three rows, and I would add first of all go to bit row options, make it full styling let's give it some top and bottom padding so all top padding should be let's see one and bottom should be percent done okay so i would be adding some three products over here so and then i would tell the customer to shop it then for that i have to go to the Styling background should be an image, and the image should be uh, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say this one. So, I gotta right, let's make it some, some padding of. done now let's add a button in here button and the button would say that let's shop or learn more let's see and let's say it is a Another one. Um, and let's edit it. It's starting. Let's change the background to some other image. So we have another product of let's say this one done right and now paste let's change it
Okay, now let's save it and let's go to page and let's open it again. Okay, so these are new just collection. Uh, we have three buttons over here and three uh, products. Now let's say I want to add uh, different categories down here so I would just simply copy paste this one duplicate and let's drag and drop it to the other section okay. right now let's change it text to Categories done. Okay. So now, how do we add uh, categories? For categories, we have to go to the uh, products. categories there is a code basically for every category and we'll go to women and this is the uh, product cat let's let me just uh, cross check it it is a little bit okay uh, so uh, I've just checked it's done automatically so first of all what we would do we would just go back here and we would add just get it back to single row to be single row now I would add categories over here so product categories Let's check Okay, so I was searching for uh, uh, basically a module here but I couldn't find it uh, I guess it, has, it might have been updated or something like that all right so I would just do it uh, manually so I would again make it three because we have three categories and in the first category I would go to the styling as like this and I will go to the background and the background should be an image an image should be a women's dress and right now I'll come to the best fit let's repeat it all now I would go to the heading and let's make it let's say 10 and 10 Just give me a second. I guess I downloaded a wrong image here for I would change its 
properties. It is uh, details. It's actually change it to. Let me change it. Okay, so I changed the resolution uh, as I told you previously that the picture should be well aligned. For that, I changed the resolution as it was not quite appealing. So, image would add new media, upload, select files, and press update it. Open. Insert file. Now let's move to padding and padding off. Twenty. Second point of quick image. So you should play around with the the resolutions. Uh, all right, now let's add for men a category for men. So sorry, styling background image for let's see, select this one. Padding should be and let's make it best fit. Right, we are okay. Now, one more that is ebooks. Background should be an ebook. Right now, let's add text modules and let's write women. Okay, let's make it to white and three. Styling should be it should be white in color. Font font color should be white and it should be aligned to center. One other thing that I forgot is to uh, give it a search where it is. Okay, so let's undo it and let's uh, add a button here. Button that it is clickable basically I needed a clickable button so let it be small even default is okay let's take it to the center and it should be styling where is that yeah here it is it should be a transparent button and styling its font should be um, Increase the font size a little bit. Let's say 20. Let's make it bold. That is okay. We're done. Oh, sorry. Let's try it. Give a Done. Let's duplicate it and add the other one here. Let's make it.
these are the problems in the file developing the website ebox let's say ebox now i have to give it some padding top padding Aligned, yeah, it is, and done. Okay, now let's change some other options. Of like, for example, if you go to the background, and when we hover over it, when we hover the mouse over it, so the background color should be should the overlay should change a little bit. So let's say it becomes a little bit darker. And let's change the transparency to all right. Done. Now let's check. Okay. Now same for this background. And hover. Three. All right. So now let's save it, and now let's refresh this page again. Right. Next collection. These are the categories. So, okay, the hover is not working. Basically, let's see what the problem is. Oh, sorry this is the problem it should have been in the hover basically yeah let's make it more darker Remove it from here. Basically, this was the normal, which is not the hover. Change it to this and point three. Done. Same as the case over here. Overlay, remove hover. Change to point three. Alright, let's save it and let's refresh it. <coughs> Okay, so now you can see that if I go over here, so it will be forward. And when I click it, so it will take me to some link. Sorry, I forgot to give the link of uh, the proper links. All right. Now, what should we add further in the home page? Mm, yeah. Now let's add some blog posts. On the main page so for that I have to go to the post posts and let's move it to trash <clears throat> and 
Nina. <clears throat> Let's say the title of the blog post is Travel to Vietnam, right? <clears throat> now let's add a text module and let's write some lorem ipsum in that. Okay, done. Or let's make it styling font paragraph font. Make it just a fine. Great. Now I would also like to add some image to this blog, let's say uh, Let's see, this is uh, let's say this is the image of this blog. Done. Let's publish it. Publish. Let's view the post. So this is how the blog should be. So why do we use blogs in uh, the e-commerce websites? Basically, in e-commerce uh, websites, we need blogs to get the traffic. Basically, for example, like if I search uh, in Google that, uh, let's say I'm selling um, hiking shoes, and I search in the Google that uh, best hiking shoes or comfortable hiking shoes. So different websites would come uh, in the result so if I have written different blogs about the uh, shoes so my blog might if the SEO is good if my uh, ranking is good so my blog should be in the top so once my blog comes up so the user will get into my blog and I can give different uh, links to my own products let's say if i say here that uh let's say these shoes are the best shoes or like these are the comfortable shoes so i would also give a link over here that you can buy this from here so when i click it so it would get to my own website so that's why blogs are there now let's say i go back to all the posts and let's duplicate this post cannot do there's no duplicate option in the post okay add new let's say the second one is <clears throat> uh, casual dressing some blog on casual dressing Let's see how to do cool casual dressing. Let's see. All right. So go to the image. My God, I cannot find an image. <laughs> okay, here it is. And let's see. Which picture? This picture should be okay with it. And done. Then let's add some text. And get some lower some again. Done. And let's save it. Publish. Publish. Okay, now let's 
add another post new let's say I give it a title of uh, view over here so you can have any sort of uh, blog this is just an example blog and it's done then text module and then publish G Okay, so let's publish it and view the post. So now I have different posts with me. Now I can go to my home page and I would add a new, let's say I duplicate it. Change it to blogs done. Now in here I can also add a okay, I need to check it previously. All right, so <clears throat> The meanwhile, um, I was searching for something else, but also change the uh, currency. Let me show you how. First, you have to go to Shopee, uh, like in the dashboard. Then you have to go to the pro, uh, the WooCommerce. In WooCommerce, you have to go to settings. In settings, you have to go to. You can change your address, store address here, your country, and other things. So I change it to this and you can also change to selling options I've, I've changed it over here from pound to Pakistani rupee all right you can also change other uh, um, uh, options like for example uh, which one is a shop page so I haven't made a shop page yet for that let's first make a shop page sorry not post page basically pages all pages a new page okay shop and okay in the shop page I would like to have page options like I would like to have a sidebar in it and in the sidebar I would like to have different uh, filters so for that I would not select the whole page so I'll just select this one and uh, then find page title yes and go to publish now I've published it so which one should be a shop page it should be let's refresh it again ok to, oh sorry it wasn't published ok it's published now so let's refresh it so this is our shop page and you can play around with all these uh, uh, options uh, for example shipping you can uh, add different shipping zone like for example if you are uh, selling something from KP you can add shipping to even other countries and other provinces you can add different uh, delivery charges to different locations in different zones different countries so all can be set up from here you should cover it yourself 
now i would put payments so you can add different payments uh payment method for example you can also add pay paypal uh, cash on delivery i would just check it for now check payments to direct bank, bank transfer so all of these options are very easy to be to set up all right so you can also see your orders from here in this tab so these are the colors of different orders like new order canceled order so you can also change these settings excuse me for a while all right okay now um, okay what we were doing okay we go to this page now refresh new page all right we'll set it up later now let's <coughs> again go to our home page and okay I also have to change this thing uh, when I click the home page we should go to the home page rather than the blog page for that let's go to Themify settings excuse me I have to get a call all right uh, sorry I was away for a while let me just get back where I left it okay so most probably we were where were we let's check okay we had to change this um, uh, default to a home screen not the shopping not the uh, block page so for that we have to go to the tools no sorry the settings and in settings we will go to the reading in reading we will have a static page and that would be my home page and the post page is basically our uh, okay I didn't make the block page all right no no deals no issues now let's move forward now when I click the visit site button so it will it would take me to my home page good to go now now I will add another uh, uh, module here that would be sort of a uh, let's open it let's uh, I would make a module having two sub modules on the left side there would be a video and on the right side there would be some text alright so first of all let's make a two module two rows module In the first one I would add a okay the background of this complete uh, this video and this uh, text should be let's say I like it I would like it to be a gradient so I would go to background I would go to gradient and let's say uh, I change it to some other color radial some color like let's make it purplish come here right and all right and at this and it should be like sort of reddish cool now let's have some padding uh, top and bottom padding so let's make it let's say five percent or maybe just two percent would be enough because i have to add other things as well and the bottom padding of two done now let's add a video module over here so i would go to styling i would go to the background okay now here you can add the video module using two two uh methods number one is if i uh drop direct video over here but that would cause some problem because i have to play it and there are some other issues so for that i just use the previous method of background so on the background i would um, use a video 
and I would disable the audio and disable looping let it loop and mobile support is all right so I'll give a video of uh, URL of video I had to search for the video yesterday um, it should be here yeah here it is so it's a simple uh, Add it here and done. Again, background just um, now add some uh, padding to it. Say so top is Okay, that's enough. Or maybe just twelve. All right. Done. Okay, so this is my video module, and on the right side, let's say what should I add? Let's think. All right, uh, let's add a text module. Mm, text, and uh, text, I'll write something like, uh, uh, let's say it's some new product that is trending, so I would write trending now. Let's make it two, and make it white background. Font should be font color should be FFF. and it should be center. Let's make it a little bit um, bold and done. Now add some other things. Let's say. Some text and bottom of some text over here. So copy make it white again. And maybe a button over here. Okay. Say a black button that says okay, you can change it to the shop. Let's say we name it hmm, Explore. Done. And done. All right, let's save it and let's see how does it look. Okay, that's cool. Now I want to add something, uh, not something, but I want to add my uh, social media links down here before the footer. So for that, I have to go to my theme. 
and theme settings in theme settings I would go to my social links and I would like to add British so you you can give your uh, business Twitter account but I'll just write twitter.com for a while then I would like to add my Facebook account as well so facebook.com you can also change the icons but these uh, default icons are okay maybe some YouTube as well youtube.com Pinterest if you want to add let's say I also want to add my uh, Instagram Instagram and instagram.com I don't know if it is like this or not let's insert an icon of Instagram okay now I guess we are good to go let's see if I just there yeah. not here yet so for that you have to do what we have to go to um, let me let me check social balance yeah. <clears throat> so Twitter uh, Facebook Pinterest EU not Pinterest Instagram let's see if it works I have to check it first yeah <clears throat> so it looks pretty cool uh, save it Okay, so it has already been saved. So uh, our home page is almost ready. Uh, one thing I would like to change is this footer of mine. So I would go to footer text, and you can write something like, let's say, designed by me. Right? You can write other things. You can write your trademark or something like that. Uh, save now you can also add uh, sort of um, social links for content okay yeah that's great it just came up you must have seen in some uh, uh, let's refresh it Save it or what? Uh, settings. For sure. Save. Okay, it's okay, it has been changed. All right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So now. In some websites you must have seen that there is a small bar small um, I don't know what to call it but after the um, the nav bar there is a small other bar and it it, it has some news like for example uh, it, it can be like uh, free shipping over an order of 1000 or 2000 rupees or let's say uh, the festive sale is on or something like like that so I want to add uh, a, um, a bar like that over here so for that, uh, first of all, what I would do is to make a new layout first. Layout, layout parts. Okay, add new. Let's name it uh, free shipping maybe. And let's make a layout of uh, one raise all right then make it full width row and 
the styling the background should be background color and it should be like almost red black sort of grayish black and 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 let's give it that's all right I guess now let's add a text module text and let's write free shipping over orders of PKR 2000 let's say styling mm, font should be white as the background is black and uh, it should be center realigned okay let's see how does it look okay so here it is uh, you can see that there is a, a small uh, space over here so in order to reduce it let's say what would I do I would come here to the row options and here I would come to margins now not the padding and I would uh, decrease the bottom margin by let's say 10 pixels I guess and increase the top margin by let's say 4 pixels maybe let's check if it is okay uh, let's refresh it. Mm, no change. Just strange. Back. Margin. Oh, I'm sorry. It should be minus 10, not plus 10. not changing strange let's check it for this text module then right okay so it has reduced a little bit now let's come again here so styling margin 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 and let's increase the upper one by let's say uh, say four pixels and let's make it 12 so it becomes a little bit smaller update and refresh Okay, so that seems almost okay, but not exactly okay. You have to take care of such nitty gritty details in designing. So let's make it 15. I hope it would work. Update. Okay, so it seems all right now from top and bottom. Okay, so now I want to add this to my uh, every page. So for that, I have to copy this uh, short code and let's go back to the themeify settings and hook content okay first of all we'll see hook locations what are hook contents basically these are some of the hook contents before the header I mean before the header or the nav bar after the header uh, after this module, after this module, before, before the, uh, we'll just come to end. Let's say before the footer and after the footer. So there are many uh, places where you can your hook your content. So once the content is here, it will not move from these places. So for that, I, where do I need it? I would need it after the header after I would read it after the header after because after this so add item 
enter after and short code and save all right now if i refresh my page that's great so i have this uh, content over here so now my uh, let's open this website somewhere else here is a, another private window let's see how does it look if there is any padding or margin issues i'll just re change it all right so great all right all right seems quite good if you want to have some padding over here you can use it oh something if i add something in it it would uh, seem really good like uh, a horizontal line after every section so for that let's turn on the builder now let's say after this section i would add a small line over here so where's the plus button here it is Hmm. Divider. Yeah. And solid divider is all right. The complete black line, or let's say, make it a little bit grayish and. Get some top and bottom one. Let's say 10 pixels by 10 pixels. And the custom width of 150 would be enough, I guess. And make it to the center. And done. Right, I would do one thing. Let's see. Alright. Now let's duplicate it and let's add it again to put it here. Great. Now should also use one over here for that. Save it and let's see how does it look. Okay, so now see uh, the, the sections have been uh, uh, divided uh, using these small lines. You can add some padding if you want to. All right, now we are done with the home page, and now let's go to about us page. There's nothing in the about us page, so we will just set up here. Okay, so now let's go to about us page. All right, uh, edit the page. First of all, I would remove these headers from uh, these uh, sidebars. need a full width page and uh, want to hide the name of the page yes and update it 
go to page go to page okay turn on the builder now let's say I want to change this to two rows and I want to change it to a full width and let's add some padding there's a whole padding of uh, 5 pixels this much and done now in this module I want to add uh, in this block I want to add an image module and let's see if it is about us so I would need be needing something like team team up so this is our team uh, so right now on the right hand side I would use a text module that would say let's say um, our story right change it to heading one and styling font should be let's say I make it yellowish maybe something like right get it to the center maybe a little bold or it doesn't work right so our story and now another text module and it should be let's say some lorem lor ipsum mm, this and let's justify it justify justify font justify done okay let's bring it a little bit down so there it is it is aligned to the image so I would add some top padding of it's probably maybe a whole padding of two see how it looks mm, it's all right I suppose and done um, let's save it Right now, let's check. That's great. So it's a very simple page. Uh, it's all right for uh, about us or our story page. Now I would like to add. Hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, as a side note, I didn't tell you until now, but these uh, sort of templates are already available in the. Uh, let's say add blocks so see we have an already built-in uh, themes or blocks over here so you can add these blocks and uh, then uh, change the image or other things so let's say I want to get this one so just drop it over here so you can change it like that but for the learning purpose definitely you have to learn how it is done so once you learn it then you can make plenty of these blocks anyways let's redo it and save it okay now i'll come to my contact us page um, i will change the orientation of the page let's remove the sidebars and other things Change this. Change. I just like yes. Update and view page. Now let's say in this page our first. Let's turn on the builder. First, I would like to have a. Uh, an image over here of contact us let's see if we have any image so first of all let's make it full width 
okay now would need an image over here so let's go to the styling background image do we have anything for that no unfortunately we do not have anything like that let's let's uh, search maybe I have it somewhere okay so now let's go to contact us page and add an, an image upload files hmm Inserted and let's add some padding, a little bit of padding. So let's see, three pixels or five. add a text module there so the padding would automatically increase uh, let's see I write uh, get in touch and let's make it heading one again styling let's make it a little bit white Also, like to add a little bit of adding, uh, sorry, padding. Mm. Let's say five, enough. four would be enough. Okay, now, okay, I would get to the styling of this row and I would add a column overlay of normal not hover and it would be around this with this so it got a little bit darker okay, it seems good okay and that's great now here I would simply add a new module and in that module I would add simple text and in this text I would add my uh, contact form how do I add my contact form uh, I would go to the contact contact forms let's say this is a uh, this is a default form so I'll just copy paste it you can change it once you go in there and you can change different fields like let's say your name your email subject your message you can change it to anything you can change different uh, make sure that this is your own uh, email address on which you would like to receive emails and you can play around with the settings all right so i copied this uh, the short code and i would simply uh, paste it over here and i would go to styling and in the styling i would go to fonts no, not fonts I would go to um, center. It's great now I would add some padding to it of, let's say four to everything then I would I hope we are good enough here let's change the orientation of this to uh, maybe maybe at this one okay so just drop it to the center I guess we are good to go one other thing that we can do but I'll just skip it we can change the colors let's change the color of this button but we will change it from somewhere else not here okay so now let's save it and now let's go back to the contact us page okay pretty good good to go now now I would come towards the let's go to shop page how does it look so this is how it looks 
also the shop page you can just change it from let's go to the shop and let's edit the page where is the option Mm. Maybe we can do it from here. Categories, things, option, commerce. Let's go over here. Shop settings. All right. Uh, let's go to general. And in general, we'll have this favicon. You can add a favicon. What is a favicon? Basically, this is a favicon. And what what is uh, whenever you have a logo so a small logo is uh, displayed over there so that is a favicon i would add just a simple favicon it's a 64 by 64 pixels favicon uh, let's save it so let's refresh the page that's great so my favicon has changed now i would come to shop settings mm -hmm. wish list okay these are something else now go to commerce. Okay, I just forgot what we were doing. <laughs> Let's remind. Okay, uh, so now uh, we were uh, basically uh, adding a left sidebar to the shop. For that, we have to go to shop settings and we have to change this product archive from no sidebar to left sidebar. Now let's save it let's check how does it seems shop yeah so this is the sidebar but we do not have anything in the sidebar yet we have to add some things so i'll go i'll go to widgets where do I go to the widgets and go to a dashboard then or even from here you can go to widgets but um, appearance widgets so these are the widgets what I would do in the widgets I'll open the shop sidebar I would add a search button I would add a, let's say categories I would add something like uh, filter by rate I would put it over uh, here and I would add filter by this is rate or what let's see filter by price filter by price let's remove okay filter by rating let's remove this one I don't need it at the moment and other attributes so you you can just uh, check what are the other attributes so it has been saved now let's open this and let's refresh it okay great so here you can search item let's say uh, let's see if it works so it's a jumper all right now th this is this can be done using filter okay and you can add categories I'll add categories to it. Okay, now what I will do, get here again and categories delete uh, product categories. Let's say I would like to be shown as. See how does it work now? To check. That's great. So these are all the categories. You can also uh, use it as a drop down or anything you like to. So okay, these are categories. All right. So we are good to go now. I would uh, change this uh, header, uh, the pages over here. So I would simply go to my. Uh, dashboard the dashboard I will go to the Timify settings I will now go to settings 
Sie wollen da ja auch nicht No. No, no. Check where do we find it? Here it's menus. We'll go to menus. Now I'll make a menu, let's say header menu. Header or let's make top menu. Top menu create. Now in top menu I would like to add uh, this uh, shop page back to menu and I would add uh, categories okay we have to find the categories Alright, so for categories we have to come here to screen options and we have to click this. So now it will be added to our product categories. Now I want all of the categories in there. Men jumper Z box. Add to menu. Okay, so now shop then women then this is a sub item then men then this is sub item then ebooks okay uh, one other thing I find it over here let's save this first let's check if it has been implemented okay that's great so now if I go to Shopee this is shop. If I go to women, here we have dresses. We can also have other subcategories if, for the shoes, etc. Men in ebooks. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, in some of the drop down columns. Okay. Mm. columns what? now let's see if I click on women so I'll have the on the dresses over here and if I have other columns it would also come down to it so it's a smaller one it's not a mega menu and it's a mega menu let's see if there, I can change some settings Okay, all right. All right. So now uh, I hope we are about to get to the end, but we would just check the website once again okay uh, let's change the icons a little bit for that I would go to use I would go to the customize okay, you can also change the uh, You can also change the footer over here. You can ch change the colors, and you can add here the uh, different. Oh, let's see. Let me just do it. Um, let's go to menus, 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 appearance, menus. I would add a new menu. Where 
the option for new menu to find it. For the footer, you will let's say footer menu, and I would like to add them contact us about. And let's say if I have other pages like blog and etc., I didn't make a page for the blog, but you can also make a page for the blogs. Uh, I'll just do it in a moment. Let's make that first. Mm, Shopee pages. New. change the orientation to let's say a simple three grid post and you can change this different settings I guess they are all right almost here Done. publish publish and preview So this is a simple blog page. Where yeah, are the featured images? We will check it later what the problem is anyways <clears throat> what I wanted to say is let's add the uh, blog contact us and about us page to the menu <clears throat> maybe there are other uh, pages like FAQs and etc <clears throat> so about us should be first blog. save menu now it will be visible in the footer navigation if I go to my website <coughs> and I come to the end and so I'm able to see uh, my pages <coughs> all right now last step is to go to the customization and I would go to the fonts <coughs> <clears throat> I like a font of Roboto, let's say. Yeah, Roboto is a good font. Yeah. So you can see that the fonts have, have been changed. Let's make the font width to 300. Better. And okay, it's white. I'll also change the header font to. Okay, just remember that uh, it's a professional practice to use just one or two fonts in your entire uh, website. So it looks really good and professional. You can change these uh, different colors, these hover colors and everything from here. Link and link hover. Alright, now what else can we change? Body color has been changed. And uh, okay, I would enable the sticky header. Publish. Now I hope that the website has been completed. Let's click on Shopee. 
it says by quality right that's great now this is our home page having a slider having this if I click on shop it would get me to the shop uh, page get back these are our new collections having these buttons different categories uh, then just a simple video having some text then our um, uh, social media links then I'll go to women so women have only one dress so I'm going to go to this dress we have this dress as a woman uh, in the women uh, category having sale of uh, some I don't know some percentage uh, you can by the way you can uh, remove this from the pro product page uh, where where do you from where we uh, set up this product you can remove this from there you can play around with different settings basically if you come to men when men we have only these jumpers if you come to ebooks we have this all right let's say let's say I get a jumper I want to buy one jumper so I would have a size and a color let's say gray and I would add it to the cart once added to the cart it has been added here now uh, click on checkout okay we didn't uh, set up that page so you you can do it from uh, let's cross it cross Sharpie you can change these settings from here Okay, these are this is the card page, so you can add a page first, and then uh, a checkout page, and my account page, whatever you like, terms and condition page, and just uh, use it over here. And then when you save it, so once you add something uh, to the card, then when you click it, so it would uh, calculate all the prices and other stuff as you uh, have been using previously. And when you check out, so it would ask you for your uh, address and billing details and when you then make an order so you will get an email and also the orders can be managed over uh, here currently there would be no orders yeah so this was pretty much about the uh, wordpress and how do we use it it was yeah it was a, a, a lengthy lab because we had to make a, a proper website from the beginning to end from the scratch so it's now like if i go to this nike website so you can see that we have almost made something similar to this and many other websites like like for example apple or tesla and other so if we go here we are sort of good to go now i would like you to please uh, repeat the complete video uh, practically and then <clears throat> The lab assessment is uh, that you will make a website of your own name uh, then you will uh, once the website has been built you have to upload um, the, the screenshots of every page in the uh, uh, assessment lab assessment and I need to see everyone's name on the website like for example if this is Shopee so it should be your name anyone and then uh, the images should be different the every the every the layout should be different you can you have to make an e-commerce website particularly of anything you would like to mobile phones or shoes or books or anything so you should make a, a very eye-catchy website if you have your own business you can also make a website for that if you want to establish a, an e-commerce business you can I hope you will now be able to make a website for that and you will uh, save lots of money or you can even go to freelancing and you can make websites uh, after having after um, practicing this uh, websites like these so I hope it was uh, uh, um, pretty helpful uh, lab for you so if there is any question please let me know and uh, if uh, 
if there is uh, any problem in the lab you can talk to your CR he'll inform me and we will have a question answer session online so thank you so much and uh, take good care of yourselves thank you so much Allah Hafiz